So you may have read in the news that Joe Biden just made America a little better by signing the Speak Out Act into law. It's supposed to combat sexual harassment. But what you probably didn't read is that Joe Biden himself has been credibly accused of sexual misconduct and not just by his own daughter, whom he showered with. In the presidential election of 2020, Tara Reid, a woman called Tara Reid, emerged to say that while working for Joe Biden in the U.S. Senate, he sexually assaulted her in a violent way. Most of the media buried the story. And we'll be honest and admit that we didn't know what to think of it. But we finally sat down and talked at great length with Tara Reid to hear what happened. And we were completely convinced that this is real and that she was able to prove it. The whole story is part of a brand new episode of Tucker Carlson today, but here's part of it. When Biden started acting weird towards me, he would like put his hands on my shoulder and put his fingers underneath my hair and do weird things like that. And then there was a scene where. What did you think of that? I mean, did you? Well, you know, bear in mind, and you were around in a professional in the 90s, it was a different. I don't know if you were in D.C., but it was a different vibe. I was vibe. in D.C., yeah. Okay, that was a different vibe, but it still was weird. I'd never had an employer do that, and Panetta certainly didn't act like that. No, he's not like no, that. No, not at all. And um, he's just all business. And, um, you know, Joe Biden was always, he didn't seem like an intellectual giant, let's put it that way. Right. No, he was He'd, famously not. Yeah. But, but a charismatic yeah. and warm guy. Uh, that was the that was the Yeah, and, view. you know, and that's the thing. Behind closed doors, he was very... Um, He's very temperamental. Really? And he would do this thing where he smiles when he's angry. It's very disconcerting. <laughs> very disconcerting, that big smile, and he's, ang you know, but he'd be angry, and he was, he was very temperamental. He had me up against a wall, and he penetrated me with his fingers uh, against oh. my will. And I, um, you know, it was, it wasn't just the assault, though. Um, it was, it was everything to do with, here I am, this young staffer, and he did this, and then I made him angry. And that's like someone you don't want to make angry. Because I said no. I just and, think it's, yeah. I, I, I've got to be honest, one of the reasons I didn't know what to make of your story was, it's so, I've been a man for, you know, 53 mm -hmm. years. Yeah. I've never heard of anything like that. Like that's, you know, men do, all, men, men are kind of piggish, as we know, yeah. and they do piggish things. But that's like, that's like kind of like rape. I mean, that's like so out of he, bounds that it's weird to think someone would do something like that. It was just, it happened all at once. It happened really quickly. There was no like flirtation with him or anything like that. It was very, you know, um, he's, he was usually with people and he wasn't. I was like at the wrong place at the wrong time, so to speak. And when it happened, um, he at first was like, come on, man, I heard you liked me. And I, you know, I froze. And then he said he got angry, and that's when he smiled, you know, that smile. And that's what was really jarring. And then he said, he pointed his finger in my face, and he said, you're nothing. You're nothing to me. And then I, I must have had a certain look on my face, and he just took my shoulders and shook him. He said, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. And then he turned around, and he walked away. And I remember it was just such a jarring, shocking incident. Probably was all of less than five minutes, right? But my vivid memory is sitting on this, these marble stairs and my legs were shaking so badly because it wasn't just what he did. It's that I knew my career was over. That was it. Like I had said no, it was an awful thing, and this was the end. He used his power and resources to silence me. And I'm gonna share something with your audience. They took a cannonball to my life. Yeah. They went after my family. So when that day, when he did that assault, he took my future. I didn't want to sleep with some senator. I wanted to be one. And that day, it ended. The cruelty she describes, not just an unwanted advance, not just the sexual violence, but the meanness to her from Joe Biden and from his staff and from people throughout the Democratic Party will just absolutely blow your mind. It's really offensive to anybody, not on partisan grounds. Just as a human being, you can't believe people would act that way, but they did. So we called the White House and we asked them for comment on what Tara Reid told us. Of course, they didn't respond. 
You can watch the whole interview tomorrow morning on Fox, on Fox Nation. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.